Victory Church on the Rock. My name is Beth. I'm one of the pastors here. And today I have just a little word to share with you, um, a little bit of something for you to think about. Um, on Sunday, Pastor Dustin spoke about prayer and how it's really important uh, to pray about everything, even the small things that you think maybe God won't care about. Um, number two is prayer is simple. And so we can keep our prayers really simple and to the point. And number three, prayer produces peace. And just as a follow up, I kind of wanted to add a fourth step to that. And my fourth step does come out of the Bible. And it's actually coming out of the story of Elijah. And if you don't know who Elijah is, I encourage you to go to First Kings and read about him. He's pretty cool. He's a prophet um, in Israel. Israel. And he was living his life, getting messages from God, and then telling them to the people and being the voice of God in that time that people could really hear and pay attention to. And all at once, his life just changes completely. He goes from serving God to getting a death threat from the king and queen and being like, I got to get out of here. So he tears out of the city, he finds a cave, and he goes in there and he sulks and he pouts for a while because he was serving God so faithfully and then all at once he just lost everything that he was so dedicated to and working towards. And so that's where we pick up is, is that Elijah is in this cave essentially pouting. Um, and this is God speaking to him. He, God says, go out and stand before me on the mountain. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by, and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks were torn loose, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave and talked to God. And so in our lives, sometimes when we have things flipped upside down, we want to pray and say, God, what's going on? And we want him to be like, boom, there's your answer. And so when we do those three steps of prayer, I think our fourth step has to be giving time to sit and listen to that still small voice, to clear the distractions and understand that sometimes God is not in these big crazy moments. He's actually sometimes just when you're at your kitchen table and the house is quiet and maybe it's a little late and it's just a space where you can really just sit and experience God. And so today my challenge for you is um, find a, a time today or tomorrow where you've prayed, you've done your usual thing, if that's something that you do, and then give a few minutes of just silence and listening and really keeping your heart open to what God has to say. And I think when we give God space to talk, he'll do it. He will, he will give, um, give wisdom and give the things that we need and, and speak to our hearts. So this week, I want you to try uh, and, and experience that and, and do that for yourself. That's all I have for you today. And I'm so glad that you've joined us and I'll see you next week.